Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are just going to learn about how to install the QS Replace and Wayback URLs on Kali Linux 2022. So if you are using the another version of the Kali Linux, so that is not going to matter here. Uh, you just have to install the Golang if you have not installed the Golang on your system. So let me just show you how to install it. So you just have to simply type the sudo app install golang on your terminal and this will install the go on your system. If you got any kinds of error like golang not found then you have to first do the sudo app update for updating the package database. So now let's go to the official repository for the QS replace. So when you just go to the GitHub repository of the QS replace you will just find the installation instruction for the QS replace on the bottom of the page. So that is quite easy to install the QS replace. So if you don't want to install it with the Go, then I have the solution for that as well. So let me just for, first uh, install it with the Go. So you just have to simply paste the command on the terminal and the QS replace is all yours. So after just executing the command, so many beginners are confused on that when you just simply type the QS replace on the terminal as you can see that the command not found. This is because because the go binary directory is not added onto the path variable. So let me just show you how we can do that. So when you just do the cd and when you just go to the C, go slash bin directory you will find the QS replace here. So you have to do the pwd and copy the uh, just remember this path directory and let's just do the echo dollar of path for checking out the current path variable so let's just copy the path and let's go to the shell resource file if you are using the bash uh, shell here then you have to add this path to the dot bash rc file located in your home directory so here the kali is using the zss by default so we have to open the nano uh, tilde forward slash dot zsh rc so let us go to the end of the file and let's add the path here so we have to use the export followed by the path is equal to followed by the slash home slash kali slash go slash bin so this will be the binary directory that we are appending with the default path variable so like this we have to append the uh, go binary directory with the existing directory. So don't forget to add uh, This directory as well where you have previously copied. So let me just save this and let's exit from here and let's update the ZSS RC file So now let's uh, type the which QS Replace so as you can see that now the QS replace is on the path now we can execute it from anywhere so simply type the QS replace I can I can help so as you can see that we are able to execute the QS replace now let's just go with the wayback URLs so let me first uh, show you how we can install the QS replace without the go so if you have not installed the go on your system then you, you just you can simply grab the static binary that is on the release tab so let's go uh, on to the top here and here you can see the release tab let's just press on the release button and you can see on the assets that we have the qs replace for the different version of the linux so we are just going with the uh, qs replace linux amd64 uh, you can just simply press on the link and download it i'm just going to copy the link address and let's just go onto the terminal and i'm just going to grab this on the download directory so let me just grab this on the cd downloads and let's just do the wget followed by the url and let's wait for a couple of minutes to download complete download to be complete and boom so download has been completed and it's the tar tar.gz format so we can simply do the tar.xjf followed by the file name so that with the QR, qs replace so so we got the binary here and we can just simply copy this binary to the bin directory or we can also do the period forward slash qs replace followed, followed, followed by the hyphen hyphen help so as you can see that we can also run the qs replace like this as well so we can just we just have to simply copy this to the sudo cp qs replace to slash user slash bin or you can also copy this to the slash bin as well or you can also copy to slash user slash local slash bin slash 
QS replace as well. So when we just do the QS replace and when we do the which QS replace as you can see that it is showing the QS replace of the binary direct that is located under the code. So when we also uh, when we do the ls fnl to the slash user slash local slash bin slash qs replace as you can see that qs replace is all also located in the user slash local slash bin as well so like this you can install the qs replace in a different way so just only use this method if you don't have an install golang on your system or if you don't want to install the golang on your system. So let's just go with the Wayback URL. So the Wayback URL is also pretty quite easier to install it. So here you can see out the uh, go command for installing the Wayback URLs. You just have to simply just paste the URL on the terminal and let's wait for the downloading to be complete. Wayback URLs is on your terminal. So now we can simply do the Wayback URLs on the terminal and you can see that it's running. So as I have already said that you have, you have Wayback URLs take the input from the standard input. So we have to supply supply the uh, arguments with the stdin. So we can simply do the Wayback URLs ibon fn help in order to check out whether it's installed or not. So you can also install the Wayback URLs with the method that I have previously shown you if you don't have the go install on your system. So like this you can install the Wayback URLs and the QS replace on the Kali Linux 2022. So this much for today.